Welcome, my name is Miki and welcome to our series about interfaces in Go. In this video, we're going to talk about interface design. The first principle is in Go, interfaces say what we need, not what we provide. For example, if you look at the copy function from the IO package, you see it gets two parameters. The first one is a writer, something you can write into. And this can have, sorry, and this is the interface with a single method write that you can write to. A writer can be a file, a socket, an HTTP response. On the other parameter is an IO reader, which is something you can read from. Again, an interface, again with a single method, this time for reading, and a reader can be many things, a file, an HTTP response, a socket, and many other things. It returns the number of bytes written and a possible error. Because we specify what we need, interfaces in Go tend to be small. I would say if you get to more than five methods in your interface, you're probably doing something wrong. The second rule of thumb is accept interfaces and return types. If you look at the open function from the IO package, ref, sorry, from the OS package, we see that it returns a pointer to a file because the OS package does not know what you're going to do with this file. Are you going to pass it as an IO reader? And this is going to work because the file implements IO reader or you can pass it as a writer. Also works because file also implements IO writer. I can implement my own interface called syncer and it's also going to work because a file has a sync method. So because we don't know what people are going to do with the return value, we just give in types. If they want to pass it as an interface, the Go compiler will let us know if this is okay or not. Second thing is to look a little bit about interface flexibility. I came to Go from Python. And when I look at the IO reader interface, I was a little bit surprised. Because in Python, the equivalent of file-like read method is saying how many bytes you want, and you're going to get back a byte slice and a possible error. While in Go, you, you pass in the byte slice and you get how many bytes were written. And the answer for why the Go team went with this design, in my opinion at least, is performance. In the Python way, every time you call read, the reader must allocate a new byte slice because it doesn't know what you're going to do with it. However, in Go's version, the user can decide either to allocate a new byte slice for every read or to reuse the same byte slice. When you're designing your interfaces, try to think how you can give the users of your interfaces the same flexibility. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.